Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your buddy Preston here with another video for you tonight. It's a very special one. We're going to go over the 15 hour 500 pack mega break that we did. We're going to look at some of the best cards. It took a lot of sorting, but we finally got them ready for you. Here alongside me is my buddy Luke. Say hi to the people, Luke. What's going on, everybody? Excellent. All right. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. Let's look at some of the better cards. All right. Starting off, we got a short print in blue. And the regular one in white there, Max Scherzer, future Hall of Famer. What were these out of, Luke? Man. I... We opened a lot of cards. It's going to be hard to remember. Albert Pujols, now this came out of the Museum Collection, 2019. Some absolutely beautiful cards. My camera's a little caca in it. There we go. Ah, another eight. <clears throat> another fat Albert for you there. That was out of Heritage. And a Gypsy Queen. So a group of Pujols for you. Another Gypsy Queen. That'll be Tops Series 2 of 2018. Yeah, it's 18. The Memorial Day, you remember that was out of? Memorial Day, it was top, It was like Series 1 of six, 17, maybe? 16, 17, I don't remember. Really like the Stadium Clubs, that's 2018. Whole bunch of Alberts to start us off. Kind of got these sorted out a little bit. We got the uh, the big hits coming at the end. We got a few boxes of the holiday cards. You can see the difference there with the snowflakes, and they are raised a little bit. They have a well, not that one. Some of the what the uh, yeah, they got inserts or it's textured, raised up a little bit. Some more fat Albert, and my boy Ichiro got quite a few Ichiros out of the break. Pulled them all out because. Who doesn't love Ichiro? Gypsy Queen, that was 2018, I believe. Yeah. Kikuchi and Ichiro together. Really like the Diamond Kings this year. Really pretty cards. Another holiday card. And that's a throwback to the, what was that, the 2007 maybe? And your 75 insert from the Heritage or Archives? Archives, archives. I believe, yeah. 2019 Archives selling, celebrating the 75 Tops design. One of my favorites of all time. The uh, side note here, the ones without the stenciled uh, autograph, the facsimile autograph, are the short prints in that um, series. So... Make sure you check your cards for those. Optic MVP cards. Really like the Optic as well this year. Another 2018. And the 500 career stolen bases milestone card. I think that was out of Series 2. Pulled out a Buster Posey. Oh, I really like this card. This is, you can see it's kind of kind of textured, bubbled up a little bit in spots. Leather and lumber. Your thoughts on uh, some of your favorite sets this year, Luke? Oh, this year? Yeah. I'd, Chrome's always nice. Bowman, obviously, but I like Top's Finest. I thought they were pretty good. I was a big fan of the Chronicles this year. Yeah, Chronicles were a lot of good hits in them. Joey Votto, we're in Cincinnati, one of our favorite players. So we'll go through some Vottos here. That was a Bowman Platinum to start off. They're really sweet this year. I like the Bowman Platinums a lot. Let me look at the back real quick. Nice cards. The All-Star Game card. Gypsy Queen 2018, I believe. The Holiday card. The throwback to 93? Yeah, 
yeah, 92, 93, something like that. Yeah. That would have been out of archives. Yeah, archives. And Juhar's holiday card. A very nice Chris Bryant. This was the National Baseball Card Day. Uh, Tops Gallery Preview. Very pretty cards. Another Chris Bryant, the framed Diamond King. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of sunk down in there. The frame, the frame pops up a little bit. Some more Buster Posey for you. Clayton Kershaw. Really love those Diamond Kings. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw struggling <laughs> in the playoffs. Man, I feel bad for him. Yeah, that's, that's rough. Yeah, it's crazy. Just dominates regular season and yeah, him and uh, Peyton Manning. Yeah, Manning had some rough ones. Which Manning won it though, at least. Yeah, he yeah. did. He did twice. Yeah, second time was he was hanging on. But yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was hanging on. One way to put it. Clayton Kershaw, the Masters of the Game. Now I believe the green border was a shorter print than the regular Masters of the Game, right? Um, yeah, I believe so. I think so. Double check on that. The Manny Machado, now this is, uh, you can see the back's a dead giveaway. It's not your average heritage card this year. But if you take a look, it's textured. It's the cloth sticker. Manny Machado, those are very sweet cards. How about a refractor? Because I don't know what else to call it. Uh, Manny Machado, that's the 83 tops design. That came out of the silver pack. Out of the uh, National Silver Packs. Beautiful card. Machado's obviously pretty good at baseball. Gene Carlos Stanton and Aaron Judge. Slam Central Station. There's a good old-fashioned dad pun for you. More Gene Carlo. Never compromise. Never surrender. That was a really good looking card. What was that out of? What is this? Yeah, they're nice. The cars. top series two or yeah. fire. Was this out of fire? That one fire? No, I don't think so. Wasn't it? No, fire has the fire. Yeah, that's on. the fire right there. I think it was series one or two. Can't remember which one. The fire cards. That's our first one of the fire we've seen. Really good looking cards as well. There, there aren't a whole lot of sets I was unhappy with this year. Uh, some maybe in terms of hits and bad luck, but uh, most of the the, the General base designs this year were pretty good, I thought. Yeah, some of them, like, I thought the hits in archives were, weren't very good. We could get some nice ones, but there was a lot of, like, expos and stuff. But The Obsidian from Chronicles, one of my favorite cards of the year. Football. Obsidian's be coming out soon, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Francisco Lindor. Action All Stars Optic. It's a really pretty card. More Lindor, the Holiday. The uh, alternate jersey, the throwback jersey card. Those are pretty cool. Felix Hernandez, one of my all time favorite pitchers to watch in his prime. Absolute stud. There'll be a few more. Another one of the legends in the making card with the white background. Don't know where he'll be playing next year. Right. I think this was his last year in Seattle. Oh, they wasted a great career. Yeah, Seattle. Gypsy Queen, Adrian Beltre. He'll be heading to the Hall of Fame when he's done, right? Yeah, I think so. Prism cards. Some of them are a little crazy looking, but overall, very, very good looking cards. More Beltre. Holiday. Now that's just uh, that. That needs to be in a sleeve, probably. Was that the rainbow foil? Yeah. It? Yeah. Rainbow foil. Very nice card. You're gonna want to. Leave that one up probably. Ginter, how about some Jose Altuve for you? National Baseball Card Day Gallery Preview. And the MVP, let me grab another stack out of the box. 
Should be a few more Altuve's. The holiday card. I like these a lot. He is a Taurus. It's the Allen and Ginter 2019 baseball star signs. Those are pretty cool. I like those inserts. Cody Bellinger now. His future star with the cup and the holiday right beside it. Obviously, dude is a stud. More Bellinger for you. 2017 Rookie of the Year. That would have came out of the 18 Heritage, right? Yeah. One, yeah. 18 Heritage. That's 18 Bowman, I believe. 18 Bowman, we're pretty sure. The 18 Stadium Club. Bellinger struggled in the playoffs, though, this year. Might win MVP. Be close. Another legend in the making. How about a Nick Senzel rookie? Had an excellent start to his career. Kind of backslid a little bit near the end of the year. But to be expected for a rookie. Excited to see his career develop. I think he has a ton of potential. Thoughts on Senzel there, Luke? He's good. Talk about moving him back to second base, though. I think he's better off there. He's yeah. all right at center. I mean, he can play the outfield if they need him to. But How about the Crusade cards? Beautiful cards out of Chronicles. The Chronicles were hot, man. They really were. Yeah, we got some good boxes of those. Giancarlo Stanton. How about, oh, the, this is a very, very nice card. Don't see a lot of the, what do you call that, the chrome out of Gypsy Queen? Yeah, those were, those were the box toppers. The That's right, that's right. They're, I think, come in packs of four, maybe, or three or four. And an Anthony Rizzo, beautiful card. Justin Verlander on his way to the Hall of Fame. There's like 50, still mowing them down. Yeah, I think he should be a first ballot for sure. Eh, who knows what the silly Hall of Fame voter guys are going to do. But he'll definitely get I it. I mean, Mariano Rivera is a closer, your first unanimous. Like, I have no idea what those guys are going to do. Somebody somebody didn't vote for Griffey Jr., so who knows? Yeah, that's true. Very, very nice chrome there of Verlander. Legends in the making. Is that it? No. All star game. Yeah, all star game. Okay. Yes, that might be a very easy. The holiday card. Sixteen or seventeen there. Seventeen. Yeah, I think it was seventeen. Uh, these are out of heritage. The new age performer cards. One of my favorites out of that set this year. Very nice. And then the Diamond King. Insert, short print, whatever you want to call it. That's a really good looking card. I like that a lot. And the Masters of the Game. The Holiday card. A couple more Yellies for you. Celebrating his MVP. They've got one of his cloth, the cloth sticker again. I think he'd have definitely won MVP if he went and got hurt. Shame he got hurt right before the playoffs, yeah. too. I mean, on some uh, pretty much a freak injury. Who's up next? How about some Glaber Torres? Off to a phenomenal start in his career with the New York Yankees. That's a prism refractor. Let's see if I can show off the pattern. Is it like a blue wave or something? I don't know. Blue wave. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's a really nice card. And a Kyle Tucker. That's a, the Heritage Minor League cards. The Fresno Grizzlies. Looks like we've got a few rookies here. Griffin Canning's Optic. The Kevin Newman Fire. That was a little bit. That's the Fire Chrome or whatever they want to call it foil card. Yeah. Short print. 
Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. These are really sweet short prints as well out of Diamond Kings. The Rookie Performers. A lot of Kyle Tucker. Louis Severino. He'll be important this year in the playoffs, Louis Severino. You ain't kidding. He just came back recently, but he's a difference maker. It's a nice card. Just the I like the 83 design. Well, anyway. we have a little run of these refractors. Verdugo, the 83 tops design. Nikki Delmonico, JP Crawford. How about uh, that one's out of, out of uh, Bowman Chrome? Yeah, it's like the Mojo Refractor or something like that. I think Sweet. that came out of the Target. Yeah. That's... Dylan Cease, Adrian Morjohn. This came out of the Mega Box, I believe. Franklin Perez, Blaze Alexander, Brendan McKay. How about a Tim Tebow for you? Minor league card out of Heritage. 6'3", 250 for What's the, the St. Lucie Mets. What's the stats on there? Oh, oh no, stats. no stats. No stats for you. I was like an insert or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Was going on Maybe that. a sticker. Yeah. Tim Tebow for you. How about a Josh Donaldson? Now, we saw earlier and Albert Pujols and if you remember the border was all gray so these with the brown border will be the short prints for your museum clubs museum collection pardon me Josh Donaldson super thick cards as well yeah, Ryan O'Hearn freshman flash Sandy Alcantara we got a couple decent Alcantara Alcantara cards. Yeah, we got for some reason we ended up with a lot of a lot yeah. of numbered cards of him. Jen Ho Sang for your Cubbies, Miles Michaelis. He pitched the game today. Just didn't get any run support. That's a really good looking Mookie Betts card. I like that one a lot. Griffin Canning. How much do you think Mookie Betts is going to get next year per year? 35. I bet he does. I bet it's close to that. He's, more, he's better than Harper, Bryce Harper. Yeah, it would appear so. Yeah, 35. Somebody. If I'm his agent, I ain't. Oh, he's getting paid 10 years, $350 million. Oh, my Maybe God. not 10. Not Who can afford it? Uh, Dodgers, Yankees, Red Sox, end of list. Yeah, Dodgers don't spend money like that, though, That's really. That's true. Casey Mize, Bowman Platinum. I don't know. Put your thoughts in the comments below. Who were we just talking about? Mookie Betts. How much is Mookie Betts going to get paid next year? Love the 30th anniversary Bowman throwback chrome cards. Aaron Judge. I like them too because back then the Bowman were bigger. Remember? Yeah. They are they're a pain in the butt to deal with. They were. They were. Yep, they'd all get beat up. Yeah. Clint Frazier, another refractor. Estuary Ruiz. Danny Jansen. Casey Mize, first Bowman. Felipe Vazquez, that's a short print. Yeah, it's got the... They would normally have the GQ right in the middle there for Gypsy Queen. That has the alternate logo on it. Oh, well, there you go. Not numbered. We got the number one set aside. We'll, we'll hit a big stretch of big-time rookies. We got some beautiful vintage cards coming up. Vintage. Remember for the stuff from the 80s? We opened a bunch of stuff from the 80s during the mega break. Looks like we'll have a few David Price there. Louis Urias. He's going to be pretty good. I do, too. Jeff McNeil. Trevor Richards. You can see the green border there. Obviously different than what we were looking at prior. Those will be short prints. Yeah, I think them were uh, retail only, maybe. That. 
adjust the cam. Oh, adjust the camera real quick. Zach Cozart. We got the no name. Who was that? Mitch Hanniger. See the no name. Short print. Uh, didn't like that one. No, I did not. Those were, as I take a drink of water here, those were extremely short print, weren't they, Luke? No, nah, I mean, <coughs> no, nah, they're Super not. Super short print? Yeah, they're not crazy short. They, I think the bazooka, they got a bazooka back gypsy wing. That one's even shorter printed than this one. But yeah, they're not real easy to get. There were a few things we looked up the uh, the odds on. I thought that was one of them. First. <laughs> hey, trolling and bowling. What's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. I certainly do appreciate it. Just looking at the uh, the better cards from our 15-hour 500-pack mega break. Franchi Cordero, what a name. Michael Conforto, some tops fire. Elvis Andrews, Marcus Stroman, Corey Kluber. And how about the Salute to Cows night? I put this one aside just because it amused oh, me. That one's, that's the worst uniform, man. <laughs> Woo. The minor league cards are, are pretty funny. The Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. The Rattlers celebrating cows for some reason. Yeah, it's dairy in Wisconsin. I you know. guess so. Shouldn't right. they be celebrating snakes? Just saying. <laughs> Royce Lewis for the Fort Myers Miracles. Bo Bichette for your New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Yeah, he came in strong this year. He's going to be really good. Yeah, I'm excited to see his career unfold. No doubt about it. You want that? that really anyway. Yoan Moncada. Dakota Hudson, Louis Urias, one more time. Uh, we, the, we got a few of these, the little scratch-offs. These were a throwback to things that they would put in, uh, I can't remember what year. This is the late 60s, early 70s. I mean, it, <laughs> you would scratch off and what, there's a name of a player under there or something? Yeah, I don't know. I or know. a base hit or whatever? Yeah. Starlin Martin. Starlin Marte. There we go. Kind of neat. So I'm ready to send your box on. <laughs> this must be my buddy Big D. Yeah, yeah, I definitely got the email you sent me. It's been a crazy busy couple weeks. I finally got my car back today. Thank goodness. Royce Lewis. I know you like those twins. The 87 throwback. Yeah, I love the 87s. Everybody does. Future star. Do you remember who the big future star card would have been? Uh, Bo Jackson and Rafael Palmeiro in 87. Who else? Was Greg Jeffries that year? No, Jeffries was 89. Oh, I think you're right. 89, I believe. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. Chris Sales, 83 throwback, all-star card. Pulled out the Fernando Rodney card just because I could not believe Fernando Rodney's still in the league. He's like 80 years old. There you go, Twins fans, Big D. Dude, he's played everywhere. I guarantee he's not there right now. <laughs> nah. Kevin, New all oh, these, uh, these Diamond King framed cards. We've got a couple of them. Really pretty cards. The Strasburg, the Laos Sega, and the Newman. Really like those. I took Boggs again with four of his time. Oh my God. That's incredible. How about Chris Sale? These are the Gypsy Queen framed ones. AJ Pollock, Lance McCullers. Josh Donaldson and Steven Strasburg one more time. The Bregman Gold Border Diamond King. He was right there for MVP this year, too. Bregman. He's good. <laughs> Power up. 
Zimworth. The Zimworth card. I pulled that aside because what the hell is that about? A lot of screaming going on, man. Get excited. I guess. Derek Holland. That's a foil card. And then we got the Heritage. There's a second one of these somewhere. Um, obviously, you can see the borders all fancy. That is D.D. Gregorius. <laughs> I agree. I agree about Fernando's hat. Yadier Molina. Yeah, he's too old for that now. He's 25, but <laughs> it's all right. When you're 45, you got to straighten it up. The DeGrom short print out of Diamond Kings. Mookie Betts. How much money is he going to make? Oh, he's going to make all the money. <laughs> Never been on. I love the sporting news cards for some reason. Make me feel nostalgic, I suppose. The Platinum Presence. Very good looking card out of Bowman Platinum. <laughs> That's funny, Big D. Max Scherzer. And Max Scherzer. There you go. Let's see. The gold border optic, couple gold bordered ones, and the '87 All Star throwback card. The holiday card, another scratch off. There's our. I knew there was another one of these. Out of 19, or is that 18 heritage? I think that's 18 heritage. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. 2018 heritage. Miguel Cabrera, the Diamond Kings, the Legends in the Making with the black background. More Cabrera. Tops Chrome. This is the Tops 2019 National Baseball Card Day. And Holiday. Nolan Arenado, one of my favorite players in the league. Absolute beast. The green bordered short print from Gypsy Queen 2018. Number 252 in a series. Oh, that's not a number. Sweet card, though. The All Star game. The regular. Another baseball star signs. Hey, you have a good night, too, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to get on into all the autographs and stuff here shortly, so check it out tomorrow. You want to see some really good stuff. <laughs> I understand completely. Happy wife, happy life, my friend. The 1975 Arenado. I like the blue and green combination. Can you see that? Yeah. That colorblind jerk. <laughs> uh, hats off to the colorblind. It's rough out there. Nolan Arenado, the mythical. The Jackie Robinson Day. I still can't. What What were these out of? Do we ever decide? I think, I think it was last year. Or 2017. Yeah, 17. Okay. There we go. More Arenado. A lot of Arenado. These were out of Gypsy Queen. That's a Bryce Harper. The tarot cards, I guess they were calling them, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Big D. Always great to see you, bud. Uh, a little run of Bryce Harper here, probably. Thoughts on Bryce Harper's year? He didn't have a bad year, but for what they're paying him, I mean, you expect a little more, probably. Maybe... I don't know. That's a really cool picture out of um, Stadium Club. Yeah, I like Stadium Club. Well, that's, I mean, that's part of the problem with these monster deals. Like, is there anything he could do to live up to that contract? Are there any numbers he can put up? Yeah, he'd have to. Uh, I mean, it's because you're right. And by most standards, he didn't have a bad year, I mean, but yeah, expectations just... are so high. Yeah, he's just a little overhyped, I mean. Oh, nice. Yeah, I forgot about this. So we saw that sweet uh, 
stadium club with the, the neat picture there. And then this is not the it's not the negative because they do have negatives in this series as well, I think. Just the black and white variant. That's a really cool card. Really? I like that one. Some more Bryce Harper. We'll get through these kind of quickly. The Topps Chrome 83 throwback. Very nice. Zach Grinky, 75. Did you see Zach Grinky's press conference? No, I did not. Like 30 words. <laughs> <laughs> Dude hates talking in front of people. I don't blame him, man. He's pretty good at throwing the old baseball. Yeah, he's... Let's set that, get rid of this pile here. Make a little room. How about Garrett Cole? That's a short print with the uh, red flow, or the orange. Orange flow, yeah. And another one, David Ortiz. An eventful year for him. Man. Yeah, he had a rough one this year, but he'll bounce back, you know. Andrew McCutcheon, the Black Foil from Stadium Club, 2019. Most of these uh, here will be silver. They also have the short print black and the short print red, which we'll probably see some here soon. Timmy Anderson. Led the American League in batting average. Yes, sir. Had a very good year. Giancarlo Stanton. And those were all black, and then you'll see the red foil. Jeff Samarja, Michael Fulmer, Starling Marte, David Dahl. We got Jeff Bagwell, Reggie Jackson. Very nice. Those might be short prints. The, the uh, yeah, the little throw players. I don't yeah. think they're back. Yeah, that's a red foil, too. Just leave that one up, maybe. Blackburn. I might be wrong. Or Blackman, that. pardon me. Brian Anderson. How about a Red Mel Ott? Matthew Boyd and the Warp Speed. Harrison Bader. Red Foil. And then we got some 2018. Paul Blackburn. Those are black, um, short, <clears throat> black foil. Paul DeJong, Joey Gallo in red, Josh Hader, Justin Smoke, and a very nice stadium chrome, stadium club chrome of Trevor Bauer. That's a good looking card. Oh, got a couple. Uh, let's see what we got here. We did open a box of good ones. We'll see some of those in a second. Got a couple odd shaped guys. The 75 mini of Jeff Bagwell. One of my favorite color schemes, the orange and blue together. They did make a set of minis that year. Did they? Yeah. Oh, I got a Joe Morgan one. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. They're not worth as much as the regular ones, but I think they're shorter printed like they didn't make as many of them but uh you got the short print fortune teller of that chris or who was it altuve yeah of altuve very nice out of gypsy queen funky sized ones and then i was going to show you these so in the Allen and Ginter, you have a couple, uh, you have some some minis, but you can see the Pastrana has the funky border. Those are short print with the regular back. And then your other short print on these minis are the A and G insignia cards. So a couple things to look for as you're going through your Allen and Ginter this year. And then we got uh, we got into a box of Goodwins. 
when we saw Michael Jordan. These 19 or 18? 18, I believe. Yeah, 2018 good ones. A couple Jordans we got. The Gaudi LeBron James. The Gaudis are, what would you call them? Short print? Yeah, they're like inserts, I guess. They had a shorter print run. More LeBron, more LeBron. Tiger Woods, y'all. It's all good, y'all. And Patrick Wah. Out of hell with that. Your name's Patrick Roy, buddy. I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> all right. Back to baseball. We had this, some Diamond Kings. Really love the Diamond Kings this year. Ricky Henderson, Teddy Ball Game. One of my top five players of all time. Just guys I personally enjoy. He might be the best. He spent a bunch of his career. Yeah. Flying at war. In a war. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Johnny Bench was taken out of his prime a little bit. Cancer surgery at 25 years old for Johnny Bench. Ty Cobb. Oh, the Wade Boggs Diamond King flashback card. It's super jealous of that card. Love Wade Boggs. Carlton Fisk. Another flashback that time. This time it's Jason Giambi. How about a Nolan Ryan? Honus Wagner. Hall of Fame Heroes. Little info for you there on Honus. It's a cool card. I like that. Vladdy Sr. A lot of buzz about Vladdy Jr. This year. Mickey Mantle collection. Anytime you see a mantle. It makes you happy, right? Joe DiMaggio. Jumping Joe DiMaggio. Sam Rice. Little jolt Joe. What'd I say? Jumping Joe. Oh, no, it was not Jumping Joe. Jumping Joe DiMaggio. <laughs> I don't think his vert was all that good. It was probably all right, <laughs> well, no, no LeBron James. Well. <laughs> Lefty Williams. Sweet Lou Gehrig. Ah, the Griffey. The Gallery of Stars Griffey card. That is beautiful. Love that card. Another card that makes me jealous. Roger Clemens and Shoeless Joe Jackson. I think it was 100 years this year when that happened. The Black uh, 2019, or yeah, 1919. Yeah, yep. It was 100 years ago. The Black Sox scandal. You can Google it. Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds versus the White Sox in the World Series. There's your red stockings. The first baseball team. Frank Thomas, Ernie Banks, some tops, Alan Ginter, 2019 for you. Stan Musial, Chipper Jones. He made a nice catch in the stands the other day. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> the stands watching the game. Got a foul ball. Nice. He still got it. <laughs> Mike Piazza. Best offense catcher of all time. Roger Clemens in a Blue Jays uniform. His head grew three sizes in Canada. Carl Yastrzemski. Hanging out with Jose Canseco. You know, it happens. <laughs> it does. You have that on them big jobs. Mm -hmm. Ozzy Smith. Teddy Williams one more time. Harold Baines. I like the Harold Baines cards because I kind of like the uniforms. They're, they were the, yeah, totally man. different. Just they're kind of horrible, but they're kind of all they're right. They're horrible, yeah. Like they're so bad that they're kind of good. <laughs> Whatever that means. But, yeah, they're Jackie Robinson, Tony Perez, Vladdy Sr. One more time. Sandy Koufax, the old left hander. Best left hander of all time. Randy Johnson, you got Steve Carlton. Best catcher of all time. Yeah. I always forget Carlton was a left-hander. He's, he's got to be mentioned. There's no doubt about it. Hammer and Hank Aaron. Another Griffey. The Ginter Greats in his old Mariners uniform. A young, skinny Griffey. 
Sandy Koufax, one more time, Jim Palmer. There's a nice card. I, I do. I like the the Ginter greats this year. I like Ginter. I just didn't get any good hits. <laughs> I had a bad luck with Ginter. It was rough. Carew's baseball star signs. I like the Topps Magazine cards a lot. Hey, you want to jump in here for a few minutes? Yeah, I'll jump in. I'm going to grab a drink of water and whatnot. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's. I love that card. It's your uh, Tops Gallery preview from the National Baseball Card Day. Junior? Ah, two juniors. Ripken and Griffey. Very good looking cards. How about George Brett's 1975 out of archives, right? Yeah, I believe so. Ty Cobb, Neon, Dion. Frankie Thomas, the big hurt. Bo Jackson. And a Rod Carew. I'm going to let my buddy Luke slide in here for a minute. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back to you in a second. All right. Let's see what we got here. Honestly, I've forgotten a lot of these. You were so hurting. Oh, I was struggling, man. I ran a 5K that day. Then I opened baseball cards for 15 hours. It was rough. All right. Got Ozzie Smith trying to get this to focus. I don't like these some of these shiny cards. Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub, Don Sutton. Joe Morgan, one of the best second basemen ever. Donnie Baseball, Roger. He's one or two. He's up there. I Roger. won't listen to any other argument outside of Joe Morgan or Eddie Collins. Willie McCovey, Rogers Hornsby, Robin Roberts, pretty cool looking pitcher, a good pitcher to use. And we got some museum collection, Sandy Koufax, Ted Williams, that's a sweet card. Ozzie Smith. I like the picture on that one, too. I like the museum collection. Eddie Murray, Stadium Club, Brooks Robinson, Mark McGuire. Brooks Robinson, best defensive player of all time, any position? It's hard to say, but he's one of the best third basemen for sure. Roberto Clemente, Tony Gwynn, one of my favorites when I was a kid growing up. Him and Wade Boggs. Eddie Murray, Jim Palmer. This is one of my favorite cards of the year. I'm not a big Cardinals fan living in Cincinnati and all, but this Ozzie Smith Stadium Club, that was, oh, yeah, that's, that, that's one of the best cards of the year. I like this one in the Edgar Martinez Stadium Club with the bats on fire. That was sweet, too. Babe Ruth. They did a good job on Stadium Club this year. They kind of stepped it up. On their base, uh, at times the hits weren't always that great. But oh, nice Wade Boggs signing autographs in the dugout. Mariana Rivera, the first unanimous Hall of Famer. Killebrew, Mattingly, ridiculous. He deserves to be unanimous, but it's kind of weird. He was the. You're gonna make a close. Yeah, it is. Kind, it's just odd. It's like, just, no doubt he was great. Like best cut fastball I've ever seen. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. I love that headband on Rod Crew. Looking good. Carlton Fisk. I like that picture too. They did a real good job this year. Ripken riding into Corvette. Derek Jeter. Rogers Hornsby again. Bo Jackson chilling in the dugout, chewing some bubble gum. Big League 2. Oh, yeah. All right. Who else we got here? More Stadium Club. This is 18. Roberto Clemente. Daryl Strawberry. It's kind of a what-if story with him if he wouldn't have got on drugs and stuff. He was, he was one of the top cards to get back when we were kids. Everybody loved Daryl Strawberry. Canseco, same thing. Ripken, Bob Gibson, Dominant, Nolan Ryan, 
Ken Griffey Jr., Tony Gwynn, Phil Necro, Roger Clemens. I think that's when he's what is it? yeah, when he had his 20 Ks. Yeah. Struck out 20 people. Derek Jeter, Mike Piazza. These are all memorable moments cards. Jackie Robinson again. We got Bo. These are all all-star MVPs. Tony Perez, he's beloved in Cincinnati. Good player. William McCovey, Mike Piazza, Frank Robinson, other player that played with Cincinnati. Marichelle Ripken, Alex Rodriguez, Jimmy Fox, Ted Williams, Gary Carter, Derek Jeter, Ryan Sandberg, Lou Gehrig, Cal Ripken. These are all guys that played an all-star game. Ichiro. Mark McGuire, 538 home runs. A-Rod and Canseco. Kind of had the enhancement section there. <laughs> But in their defense, there's a lot of people doing it back then. Luke Gehrig, that might be a... King Griffey Jr. never did steroids. Yeah, I don't think he did either. Unusual. That's a nice, nice card. Kershaw. Still struggling in the playoffs a little bit. Andy Pettit. Got a Ted Williams reprint. Paul Williams or Paul Wilson never used steroids. He should have. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Mark McGuire, Jackie Robinson. These were the top side uh, tribute. These were really nice cards. I forgot about the tribute. I was outside with it. Yeah, them are pretty sweet. Got a cool Eddie Murray. I think there's only three or four cards per pack. Yeah, they got you either got a relic or a autograph in each pack. What we got here? It's tops fire. Griffey Jeter tops fire. Wasn't a huge fan of tops fire this year. Really, only bought maybe one blaster or some. Johnny Bench, Heritage Flashbacks, Defensive Catchers, Yadier Molina and uh, Yvonne Rodriguez. Yeah, they're definitely a couple of the best ever defensively. Frank Thomas, a leather and lumber, Gary V, Randy Johnson. Got Carl Stremski, 3000 Hit Club, Ripken. Got a couple Ripkins there. Bo Jackson. These are cool cards right here. Joe. Joe's iPhone. Chris Bolton. What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Got a Mattingly reprint. Winfield Jeter. Andrew McCutcheon All-Star reprint. Griffey, oops, Griffey Jr. Got the Sandy Koufax. I, I like this card a lot. I like the 87. It's one of my favorite sets. They overprinted it like crazy, but I like the design. Gaylord Perry. Where are we in here? 81. Yeah, 81. Phil Necro, 81. Oh, fun eggs. Yeah, I think we started in the 80s here. Rod Crew, All-Star. I think these are all 81s here. Vita Blue. Got an Ozzy Smith record breaker. That's a pretty cool looking card. I like the... I like the uh, San Diego uniforms back then. They were sweet. I like your work there. All right. Ron LaFleur and Ricky Henderson. I had that card as a kid. It was one of my favorite cards, like one of my top five cards when I was 10 years old. Yeah, Ricky Henderson, I guess, had – I think that was his rookie year, 100. I think this is the second year of Ricky Henderson. No, maybe third year. I don't know. 100 stolen bases there. Ron LaFour, he did some time in prison, came out of prison and ended up having a good career. That's so. right, I remember that. Good on Ron LaFour there. Good on your memory. 
Jack Morris, excellent in the postseason. That's where he. That's where he made. The yeah, Hall that's why he made the Hall of Fame was because of his postseason stuff. He earned it. He deserved it. The spaceman Bill Lee. This guy was crazy. Oh, so crazy. He was a character. Yeah, I think he broke his arm in a baseball fight. Messed him up. Messed his career up a little bit. There's your Danny Ainge. Rookie card, I think. Yeah, he was a, he was an excellent athlete. Danny Ainge was. He could play. All kinds of sports. Dun Dusty Baker. Who we got here? The oh, Von Hayes rookie. Von Hayes had a nice career. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Tom Seaver. When he was with the Cincinnati Reds, probably had his best years with the Mets, but did good with the Reds too. Steve Carlton, one of the best left-handers. Kirk Gibson, is that a rookie? No, that's like a. Like a third year. Yeah. Player. Always liked Kirk Gibson when I was a kid. All right. Got a few more 80s things here. Actually, quite a bit. I think I tried to put them in year order. Yeah, I think you did, too. I think we're in 82s right here. Got Seaver, Denny Martinez, Jack Morris on there. Those are your oh, victory that's leaders. A sweet guard right there. The yeah. Schmidt Murray. Yeah. Them sideburns, man. Eddie Murray. Oh, man. Killing it. Yeah. That's one of the best facial hair cards of all time. Oh, man. He's. Yeah, he's killing it. Dave Parker, the Cobra. He was a good player, too. He's kind of a Hall of Very Good kind of player. George Foster, another one. I used to hang out with Dave Parker's nephew. I won't share them here, but you can Google up some pretty decent stories about Dave Parker. Yeah, Dave Parker. Yeah, he, he, Chris Bolton. Hate not can take him. <laughs> no, man, I tell you, in uh, 1989, I was the biggest Canseco fan you could find. Oh, yeah, man. all the, Everybody loved Canseco back then. And it ain't, there were so many people using enhancers back then. It was just. Bruce Sutter with a thick beard. Oh, man. Kind of had the no mustache beard thing going there. I don't know about that one. Not a good look. Yeah. Little, Got <laughs> to have a mustache, man. I mean, come on. Dennis Eckersley. He was good. Welcome back, Big D. Dale Murphy, another Hall of Very Good player. Ain't quite a Hall of Famer, but Willie Stargell. George Foster. Then uh, we got some MVPs here. Who got Willie McCovey? It's like Vita Blue. Joe Morgan. Is it Joe Morgan? Yeah, son. Yeah, there he is. It's Joe Morgan hiding over there. Nice. <laughs> Took care of the girlfriend. Very nice. Take care of business and back to cards. Hall of Famer Tim Raines. <coughs> Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame, but he liked to gamble. The ugly Hall of Fame. Oh, man, he was an ugly dude. I don't understand. Eckersley. I don't understand why Mark McGuire is allowed to be a hitting coach and the best hitter of all time. Is They both did dirty stuff. Can't gamble on. <laughs> that's, I know. That's the one thing will get no you, one. man. That's the unforgivable one. Bart Blacklevin, Robin Yount, one of my favorite players growing up. Dave Concepcion, one of the best defensive shortstops ever. Part of the Big Red Machine, Don Sutton. Fernando had a nice three or four year run there. He was had a good career though. Steve Carlton. <laughs> nice. Who's that? Lamar Hoyt. 83, Phil Negro, Goose Gossage. Yeah, Yaz, Gaylord Perry, <laughs> Pete Rose. There he is. Joe Morgan, a second baseman ever. Gaylord Perry, Jim Palmer, Phil Necro, Mike Schmidt. He, he was really good defensively, offensively. 
one of the best third basemen. He's always one of my favorite players. Don Sutton again. Seaver for the Reds. Sparky Anderson won World Series with the Big Red Machine. Won there and won a, I think it was an 84 with Detroit. Won the World Series. Ricky Henderson. Fernando again. This is 83 Don Russ here. Goose Gossage. With some nice shades there. Look at that. Oh, Vida Blue, Jim Palmer. All right, we got a few more eighties things here. I believe. Yeah, let's see. Tommy Lasorda, very good manager. Don Sutton again. Mike Schmidt. This is eighty four tops. Here, this is one of my favorite sets. Had a real problem with centering that year. That's tough to find cards with really good centering. George Foster. Probably fingers. Towards the end of his career, he's going to come to the Reds, but Mard Schott was the Reds owner and wanted him to shave his mustache. And he, ridiculous. Yep. Yeah, he wasn't going to do that. I don't blame him. The woman was crazy. <laughs> Wanted to shave that mustache. Lou Whitaker and Jack Morris. Carlton. Jim Rice. These are all-star cards. Dale Murphy. Gary Carter's a Hall of Famer. Mike Schmidt. Got the George Brett all-star card. 83 all-star. These are 84 cards there. We get into Fleer. Kind of like the Fleer design that year. Wasn't bad for Fleer. Yeah, I like it too. Raleigh Fingers. Carlton Fisk, Rod Carew, 85 Tops, Tom Seaver. No old Tom Seaver. Got the, got the terrible centering. Gary Carter, Don Sutton, Reggie Jackson with the Angels. One of the best actors of our generation. <laughs> Daryl Strawberry should have had a lot better career than what he did. He had... As much natural talent as anybody. Same thing with Dwight Gooden. Mets drove him into the ground a little bit, though. First three years, he's pitching at most 300 innings or something crazy. George Brett. Reggie Jackson. 85 Don Russ. I like 85 Don Russ, too. But another Pete Rose. 86 Fleer. Don Baylor. I like the 86. Yeah, I mean, they they had a pretty good run. Kurt Gibson got up. Uh, we got here Tim Raines and Daryl Strawberry. That sounds like a good party. Yeah, both of them should have made it to the Hall of Fame, but Tim Raines did. Took him a little while to get there. But Gary Carter, Paul Molitor, Ozzy Smith. Oh, there they are again. Rod Carew. George Foster, Fred Lynn, Cecil Fielder. I believe that's his rookie, isn't it? 86. Uh, yeah. Tim Raines, Don Mag. Yeah, I love the 87 look. Donnie Baseball, Eric Davis. Injuries robbed him of a lot better career. His first few years, he was, he was electric. He could do everything, run, field. He's kind of like Ronald Acuna a little bit. The only player in Major League history that went 50-50 over 162 games. Yeah. It wasn't in the same year, but the uh, only player to do that. A spectacular athlete, my favorite baseball player ever. Always injured, though. Always. Freak injuries, though, with like a lacerated kidneys and cancer. Yeah, yeah I mean, you got cancer. Yeah, you know you are got bad luck when you get cancer. All right, Daryl Strawberry, Ozzy Smith, Tony Gwynn, and Roger Clemens, all star card. Sabo ball and a Canseco ball. That's sweet. Didn't you play Sabo? I won $60 playing Texas Hold'em against Sabo at a casino in Indiana. It was a 3 6 limit table, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there was a casino. It's right outside of Cincinnati, but it's in Indiana. I guess Sabo goes there and plays some Texas Hold'em. Got Wade Boggs. He was not wearing his glasses, and I still feel robbed. 
to this day that I didn't get to see him in his goggles. He wasn't wearing glasses? No. Probably got LASIK. He's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to put his goggles on. Mark McGuire, Alan Trammell, this is 88, Don Russ. So we'll go through these pretty quick here. Eddie Murray, Gary Carter again. I think he was actually on the cover of the box of 88 Donruss. Uh, Paul Molitor, Mark McGuire. Always loved the A's uniforms. I think that's the Carlton Fisk, Ricky Henderson, Ozzie Smith. <laughs> 40 bucks for a Daryl Strawberry rookie in 92. Yeah. Oh, it was the man. That was the card for a while. Kirk Gibson. Lee Smith, Winfield, Yount, Gwen, Ripken, Sandberg, Bo, Wade Boggs, George Brett, 89, Upper Deck. 89 upper deck changed the game a little bit. Mike Schmidt. I like that Nolan Ryan card there. Yeah. That was pretty cool for back then. Robin Yount. All right. I'm going to jump back in here. Let me clean up my mess real quick. Your thoughts on the uh, postseason so far, Luke? Kind of surprised. I mean, I thought for sure the Dodgers would be there. Bellinger went a little cold in the in Kershaw. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is about the postseason, but he struggles. Dominant during the regular season. Now but, we're uh, we're getting close to all the uh, top loader stuff. Some of the real good stuff here. I'm looking forward to the Houston Yankees series. That ought to be good games. I think they're the two best teams. All right, let's get into a few more of these and then the top loaders. How about some Acuna? Off to a fantastic start. Red foil, yeah. Or the red foil warp speed out of Stadium Club. Now this one, it's... I don't know if you can see it. We talked earlier about the holiday card where it's kind of raised up and extra sparkly. So that'll be a short print there. What do you need, bud? Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll miss that yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't know that one. <laughs> That's a good card. What do you need? Or the little sleeves. Uh, penny sleeves are over there. The Topps Gallery Preview. The Bowman Platinum. This is the regular holiday car. So we just saw how sparkly the snowflakes was on the last one. You'll see these are not raised and sparkly. So hard to miss, man, if you're flipping through cards and trying to sort quick. There's a lot of really, really easy to miss um, short prints this year across all sets, if you ask me. Ozzy ah, Albies now. Man, they're set up good in, in in hot Atlanta. Your thoughts on Atlanta's future? Oh, man, they look good. They had a rough series there in the last game against St. Louis. But, man, they got good players on good contracts. A bundle of Mike Trouts here. I didn't want you to see that first one and think it was an actual rookie. This was a reprint out of the um, – uh, I don't remember. Series two, maybe? It might be, man. I can't. Mike Trout, we all know how good he is. The tops, Chrome. Love the action baseball ones. Very good looking cards. We saw uh, Lindor earlier, I think. Illusions out of Optic. That is a sweet card. Sports Magazine, 2018. The fired up short print. That's a sweet car. Fire up. <clears throat> the red foil. No, it's not. The inside isn't red. No, the uniform. 
the Trout regular holiday card, and then Hank Aaron and Trout, the Topps Chrome Greatness Returns. And I think they had an autograph card together. That they might did. be it. Yeah, they it did. might be that one. The 84 throwback in Chrome, one of my favorite years. More trout, more trout. That's a good looking card. The Tops Gallery preview. And some more trout over here. Celebrating his All Star Game MVP in 2014 and 15. The regular old Series 1, the Ginter. And some Shohei Otanis. That's oh. one of the best cards of the year. Yeah, I like that card. It's that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The Diamond Kings framed card. You got the 75 throwback. The future stars. I would have been out of uh, the 17 or no, the 18. That'd be 19. No, 19. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. The future stars are usually yeah, second. second year card. All right. The holiday card, the chrome. Trophy card, the All-Star Rookie card, and the Topps Magazine. Really good-looking cards. More Shohei for you. Stadium Club, Ascensions out of Chronicles. Is that the first one we've seen? Beautiful card. No. Ascensions, yeah. I like their camera. Doesn't like that. I like the football card of those two. More Shohei Otani for you. The gallery. The tarot card with the rounded edges. Stadium club. The chrome. I think we just saw that one. How about some Juan Soto's? Your thoughts on Juan Soto this year, Luke? No, oh, man. He's... That's a refractor. Gold Cup card. Yeah, that was a. What do they call those? Um, man, I forget. There's so many different names I can't remember all, man. Rainbow? Four? Might just no. be a prism. Prism? Or something. This is sweet. This this is a sweet card. So it's that uh, cloth sticker textured with the giant trophy from back in the. And they put them on there in the early 70s or whatever. Or 60s. Even. That was 70. That was a 70 reprint. Was it? Yeah. That's an awesome car. You're going to probably sleep that one up. Diamond King. The Chrome Trophy card. The 84 throwback. Bowman Platinum. And some Reese Hoskins. Oh. Stadium Club Chrome. I don't know if you can see the background. There it is. That's a good looking car. Stadium Club did a good job. This oh, year. there's the regular one right next to it there for you. One time. There it is. More Reese Hoskins, rookie card, magazine card, rookie card. Magazines was like internets in a book. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember buying those. Tops Magazine? Yeah. More Hoskins, Victor Robles. How about that kid? Thoughts on Robles there, Luke? He's good. Shaggy's hurt right now. Really is. More Robles. The McNeil rated rookie out of Optic. More McNeil. Here's one of those negative cards I was talking about earlier. Reverse negatives. Those are cool.
Got a soda, one of one top heritage printing block air cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Connor Wong, this is the uh, refractors of the Bowman Platinum, or what they might not call them refractors, but you get the idea. Really sweet looking car. We got a few of these. These came out of. Uh, it was like a. Was uh, there a special pack in the Platinum? Yeah, it was. I forget what they call them, but yeah, there, there was. Casey Mize, the camera does not like these. Miguel Cabrera, Yasiel Puig, Anthony Rizzo, Max Muncy, Griffin Canning, and Brewer Hicklin. These next couple cards here are the, these were out of Topps Chrome. The, um, uh, like box topper bonus packs or whatever. Oh, were they? Uh, they're called Sepia. Yeah, S E P I A. They were in blaster boxes, weren't they? Oh yeah, I that's think right. So. So these are really cool looking cards. We got Hoskins, Arenado, Bregman, Jose Altuve, Chris Sale, Mookie Betts, Ryan Baruki. Eniel De Los Santos, rookie card, Starlin Marte, Cedric Mullins, because you got to have a Cedric Mullins. There is one card from the break, one big hit that you will not see tonight. It was a Cedric Mullins, was it a Relic Auto? I think it was. Was it? Am and we I gave it away during the break, so we don't have it here for you. But it was a sweet looking, was it? It was a Diamond Kings or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was something like that. It wasn't lumber. tops. It wasn't tops. Oh, I think it was leather and lumber. Autograph relic, maybe? I can't remember. Yeah, but it was something. J.B. Crawford, Aaron Sanchez, Christian Stewart, Willie Adamas. Ended up with like four Cedric Mullins autographs this year. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I think I got one. To Taylor Ward, Nicholas Castellano, Manny Margo, Max Kepler, Andrelton Simmons, Bundy Dillon, Ramon Laureano, Michael Franco, and Sean Manea. The Sapia cards out of Topps Chrome. Sapia. Something like that. <laughs> These are a little bundle of museum collection before we get into some of the top loader stuff. Frank Thomas. I think it's the light. Ever since I moved to this new spot, the camera's been a little worse. I think I, I could address the lighting over here. Alex Bregman. Beautiful cards. Javier Baez, Luis Severino, Buster Posey, and oh, a couple more. Max Scherzer and Chris Sale. All right. Things are going to start. Things are going to get good here. Let's tap into. How about some big time rookies? How about a bundle of Eloys? That's the cloth card. Out of Heritage. The Bowman Platinum. The 75 throwback out of Archives. And the Museum Collection Eloy. Very nice. The Titan out of Chronicles, one of my favorite inserts from that set. More Chronicles, the Obsidian, love those. The Refractor out of Topps Chrome. Stay tuned, we got a big time Eloy for you coming up too. And the regular Chrome. Bowman Platinum. You got the certified, also out of Chronicles, the Bowman, the Bowman Chrome, Allen and Ginter, and that does it for a nice big stack 
of Eloy Jimenez. Let's take a look at some Wander Francos. The Bowman, first Bowman. I don't think we got a ton of Wanders, did we? No, nah, we didn't have much Bowman, though. That's the first. That's Bowman Chrome. But... Yep, yeah, was that just one Wander? Is that the only Wander Franco card we got? Because we're right uh, in. It might be. It man. might be. Yeah, not a lot of Wander Franco. 500 packs, and we came up short on Wander Franco. How about some Fernando Tatis Jr. out of Bowman Sterling? Beautiful cards. I like the Bowman Sterling. Fernando Tatis Jr. One more time. That's that's the regular heritage. Some of those were hard to see the numbers on. The Tops Fire. The Chronicles Base. Five Tool Stud. Rookies and Stars. And some Vladdies, the rated rookie out of Optic. That was out of Archive Celebrating 56. No, I can't remember. I can't but remember. That, it, was, it was close to that. That is the regular hair. Oh, got a couple of those. Neither one's a cloth card, obviously. Some more Vladdies for you. Bowman Platinum. The Rookie Performers card out of Heritage. And some Pete Alonzo. Stay tuned for a sick Pete Alonzo later as well. What was that out of? Series 2... Allen and Ginter, the rated rookie out of Optic. The Chrome and the Chrome Refractor. Heritage. Platinum. And some more Acunas. The Museum Club short print. How about or the museum? I keep doing that. The Museum Collection short print of Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a big time card. Let's get rid of these. And we'll look at some Acunas. The Chrome Trophy card, another short print from Museum Collection. And I just I just looked at that one, didn't I? I think so. <laughs> the rookie debut, that's my birthday. April 25th debut for Acuna and some more Ozzy Albies, the All-Star game. These are 2018 tops. Some more Trouts, that's a cloth heritage card. Oh, I love this card. One, Another one of the Gypsy Queen Chrome cards. Yeah, that one's nice. Mike Trout. The Mike Trout Sepia. Shohei. The Chrome 7 or 83 throwback. These are all his rookies. All Shohei rookies. A bunch of Shohei rookies. And some more here for you, too. Heritage. And a Juan Soto. I like those future stars. Out of Chrome. Those were pretty. Yeah, they look nice. More Juan Soto. This is the blue background. Legends in the making. How about a Jordan Alvarez Fresno Grizzlies minor league card? Another Jordan Alvarez that's out of the Bowman uh, Sterling. Yeah, I think. My, yeah. Yeah, it's Sterling. And some Reese Hoskins up next. Legends, in, I just showed you the blue background. That's what most of them have, the white background, Legends in the Making. Future Stars. The Home Run Derby card. Robles, 
That one is, did we ever figure out whether that was the short print or not? Yeah, I believe that's a photo variation. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. The holiday card, regular holiday card, and Jeff McNeil. I think we saw that card a little bit earlier. Jeff McNeil. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. Please do leave your feedback down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. McNeil. Glaber Torres. We'll have a little stretch of Glabers here, I think. Nope, nope. Ran into Casey Mize. Thought I had a few more. Casey Mize. First Bowman. First Bowman, the pro debut. Walker Bueller refractor card. The 83 throwback. Another Walker Bueller. Did we? There was something about this card. We set this aside for a reason, I think. It might be a photo variation. I don't know. How about Julio Rodriguez, Raphael Devers, the Clint Frazier, Chrome, Brandon Lau, refractor card, Nick Senzel, Outstanding young talent, Louis Urias, 84. Ah, the Wade Boggs and the Joey Votto. Ginter and Gypsy Queen minis. And we're about, we got some good stuff coming up. Sit tight, guys. We got some good stuff coming up here. Another mini is Johnny Bench. The Alex Brom Sterling. That was... There was something about that card, too. I don't think all the Sterlings had that border, did they? I don't know. He was the number one overall pick, though, I think, or second, something like that, a couple years ago. The Buster Posey, you'll notice that border is blue. That is a short print. Is that one numbered? No. No, these were not. There are okay. some other ones coming up that are numbered. The Piazza. The 87 throwback of Ryan. Love that card with the 30-year anniversary stamp there. The canvas collection. Lou Gehrig, right? Yeah, that was from the museum collection. Those are cool-looking cards. They did a good job on this. No doubt. Absolutely beautiful. Fergie Jenkins, Bob Gibson, and Bill Singer. These were buyback cards here. These are original. Oh, that's right. The buybacks. These are original 50-year-old cards that they were like the box topper of. That's right. So this is 1970 card with the buyback stamp on them, the 50th anniversary. Got that one in a boom box, I believe. Juan Rios. Darnold Knowles. And then this, what year was that? 1968 Jerry McNurtney McNurtney Jeez, that's <laughs> Jerry McNurtney Yeah, that's a rough one Ed Brinkman Out of 19 set, Nope, 69 Oh, there we go Nice Ah, oh, here we go This was Luke's great white whale We had, uh, I think this was the 7th or 8th upper deck pack we opened during the break where we finally got Thomas's baseball car collection. What's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Luke finally got his Griffey Jr. By the time he hit it, he was so tired he barely noticed. Ryan Sandberg, rookie, 1983. We got a couple of them. Both of them centered very well for the time. I mean, these are these are really, really good looking cards. Yeah, they, these are candidates to get graded. Yeah, both they're going to get set to get graded. The '83 Boggs, love that card. Don Russ, rookie, rookie card. Yeah, there's Boggs rookie. There's a Boggs rookie. So, or I'm sorry, a Boggs rookie or Sandberg rookie, a Bonds rookie. The '82 George Brett. It looks like he's about to beat somebody to death with that bat. Don't he look angry? He usually Coming was. to get you. He was. He was an angry player. You may remember him sprinting out of the dugout 
ready to murder everyone in the stadium. The 1985 Nolan Ryan. Absolutely beautiful. That one centered really well, too. Yeah, it does. The Tony Gwynn 85. Love that card. Love those uniforms. One of my favorite all-time players. Roger Clemens. Yeah, that, that yep. rookie card. The John Smoltz rookie card out of 89 upper deck. Randy Johnson rookie. Nobody knew who he was back then either. I don't think he was highly touted in his nah, first couple won, years. He wasn't a league. major prospect. No. The 84 Mattingly fan favorite, not only the player, but the set as well. The 85 Ripken All Star. The 84 Ryan. We did a lot of 80s cards, so these are all in great shape, all right out of the box into the hard plastic. The 82 Schmidt. Ozzy Smith, 1984. How about Pete Rose and Steve Carlton together? Tearing it up for the Phillies in 1982. 1981, rather. That's yeah. an 82 card. He won a World Series with them, didn't he? Or did they, did they go to a World Series? I don't, mm, I don't think so. No. I don't think they got there. I can't remember. Charlie Hustle and Dr. K. Now, that would have been a good time. 1982, in those beautiful baby blue and maroon uniforms. The 86, Ryan. And the 83, Ripken. Oh. Second year card, right? Yeah, second year. And Elise Smith. Well, Yeah, kind of, I don't, that might be a Lee Smith rookie. I, think I don't think there. I don't think there was one in '81. I think it is a Lee Smith rookie. Man, it might be a second year card, but it, yeah, it might be Howard Johnson rookie card. The Conseco rookie with Eric Plunk. Eric Plunk was a pitcher too. That's a nice name. That's a goofy looking dude. Yeah, he was. He was looking shady. <laughs> was Willie awesome. McGee. Fast Willie McGee. Those baby blues. Bill Matlock and Wade Boggs. As a second year card for Boggs, right? Yeah. That, that, that 84? Was, that was 84 card. That was yeah. celebrating his rookie year as a uh, batting leader, right? He was up. I don't. He was. I don't know if his first year was counted. I don't remember how many games he played, but yeah, he led the league in average almost immediately, like a second year. Willie Stargell, George Brett, one more time. Looking a little happier there. Rod Carew, the '83 All Star, '84. I think it was '83. Yeah, '83. Mike Schmidt, your best third baseman of all time. Tony Perez, hometown hero. Pete Rose, Dave Parker. Bill Madlock. Established modern record for steals in one season. 83. Ricky Henderson celebrating his 82 record-breaking season. And how about Johnny Bench? and Carl Yastrzemski together. What a card. The 80-something Fleer? 83, I think. I might be wrong. 84. 84, yeah. Let me clean up my mess a little bit here. They had some good games in the 70s. All games. right, a couple odds and ends to show you here. So these are manufactured relics. Brian Dozier. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of sunk in there like a relic card would be. And we got another one of those kind of deals. It's Corey Seager. Oh, I ran out of things to put. Never 
I forgot to come back. Yeah, they really thick. Really super thick cards. Giancarlo Stanton. So a couple manufactured relics. Pretty sweet looking. Those were not numbered. And then we got a die cut of Mike White. Like your backup quarterback for the uh, Cowboys. Yeah, those came in the Panini Silver Packs, wasn't it? Yeah. This came out of a silver pack. Obviously, you haven't seen much football. We didn't open any football packs, but this guy is numbered to four. That is a sweet card. That is. I didn't realize it was that. And we got the Zedong Dao. Zay Ching Dao Lumberjack card. Out of Goodwins. And those are, uh, we, we don't see lots of those. <laughs> the lumber, lumberjack cards. So I figure we better set that aside. And how about a Phil Pritchard autograph out of Goodwin Champions? Phil Pritchard. He played hockey, didn't he? Yeah, he, he, was, he was actually decent. So a sweet hockey autograph for you. That dude, I have no clue. No, wait a minute. It says at the bottom. Yeah, hockey. Yeah. Tennis, it's Francis Tiofo. Tiafo. I don't know nothing about men's tennis. Me neither. I thought this was actually pretty cool. I like it. The canine companions. It, it's like a stitched kind of kind of thing. Celebrating the slouchy. Yeah, they got like 15 or 12 different dogs or something. That's pretty cool. Look oh. That's a pretty cool looking card. I never put tape on it, obviously. All right, so some random stuff from the Goodwins box. And we're going to get into some really good stuff here. Look at me. 30 seconds to clean up my mess. Entertain the people, Luke. Good, <laughs> good job. <laughs> What do you want me to do? <laughs> Sing or something? <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, I gotta get a drink of water. <clears throat> All right, we're getting into uh, some of the bigger hits now. Unfortunately, uh, we the the break took fifteen hours, and after uh, twelve hours, that's a random. After about twelve hours. Uh, the uh, the video for posting online. So we were still live up to the 15 hour mark, but the last three hours of the video is not available on the uh, on the video. So uh, some of these will, you may be seeing for the first time unless you were there with us live. That is a checkerboard Dakota Hudson. Those are sweet. Do you remember what these came out of? Oh Top man, I, Chrome. Maybe the maybe the jumbo box. No, we didn't have a jumbo box, did we? We had a hobby box. I, I can't remember. The Kikuchi. We'll have a handful of these. The Rizzo and Mitch Haniger. Eddie Rosario. Matt Duffy. Bryce Wilson. Corey Kluber. And Sean Reed Foley. Uh, Tops Chrome. Uh, it's a handful of random cards. Oh, I don't. Hold up. So a whole bunch of random Tops Chrome. And then we're going to get into, start getting into the numbered, the relics, and the autographs here in just a moment. Ozzy Albies. I think these ended up in the wrong stack. I don't think I was supposed to go through all these. Another Acuna. Oh, there's an Eloy. Eloy. Nice. The Scooter Jeanette. 
Prism card. A few good cards there. You want that Elon? All right. Let's. Uh, oh, what's this? We got a few more here. What do we got? This will be the last stack until we get into. Uh, I think the rest uh, was going to be numbered autographs and relics. So getting near the end here. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. Hit the like button, comment down below. Always great to hear from you guys. Aaron Judge, Optic, the Glaber Torres Platinum, and the short print on the gold border there from Optic. Love the New Age Performer cards. Throwback from Archives. Your regular holiday. And then there's a whole set of these. I don't remember. They were like inserts in Series 2, maybe? 2018? 18 Series 2, yeah. Something like that. The 83 throwback. That's a Timeless Treasures from the Chronicles. I like that set a lot as well. Holiday. And some Christian Yelich. Aaron Judge, that's, a, that's actually a really good picture as well. Stadium Club did a great job selecting their pictures this year, I thought. Yeah, I think it had the best base set. The Watto, Bellinger, Felix Hernandez, the Warp Speed, Lindor, Kershaw, Ichiro, Pujols, the Yount and Yellage together. That's very nice for you Brewer fans. Verlander, Posey, and then we got some more refractor cards. David Fletcher. Hello, Newman. Josh Rogers. Joey Ricard. Brandon Crawford. Andy McCutcheon. Freddie Freeman on a Hall of Fame trajectory. Walker Bueller. Louis Urias, rookie. Wisdom one more time. Some 84 throwbacks. Kyle Tucker. How about Ernie Banks and Javi Baez together? That's a sweet card. Love the Greatness Returns cards. Daniel Murphy. Chrome Refractor. Aaron Judge. Bring out the judge. Bring out the judge. 84 throwback Devado. Jeter and Torres together. Jose Altuve. Giancarlo Stanton. Bellinger. More Altuve. Lindor. And uh, Chris Bryant. All right. We're in the end game now. We're in the big time stuff. The rest of the way you're going to see. Numbered cards, relics, and autographs. Luke, you want to take us home? Now you go ahead, man. All right. Let me grab a stack. I ain't too much left. Good stack, I guess. All right. First up, it's Aaron Judge on a future stars from Chrome. This guy is numbered 22 of 25. There you go. That's a beautiful card. Numbered to 25. Giancarlo Stanton. That's a hair. That guy is numbered to 2019. Well, sorry about that. 
It is not liking that for some reason. There we go. Is that 596 of 2019? I love this card. The Legends card, number to 299. Barry Larkin. Albert Pujols, the gold bottom there. Those are going to be numbered to 2017. Ichiro. Oh, it's one of my favorite cards of the whole break. Come on now. It don't like the museum collection. Yeah, it hasn't liked them at all, has it? You, you could hit a spot, but it's tough to get there. I don't know what it is about that. Well, I'm sorry, folks. You'll have to take my word for it. This guy is numbered... What is that? 67 of 150. One of my favorite cards out of the whole break. The Rizzo with the blue border. Gypsy Queen. This guy's numbered to 250. I think we got a little stack here. Nope, just a couple. I think these next four are all going to be numbered to 2019. Christian Posh, Jose Quintana, Adam Simber, and Kevin Kiermeyer. Brendan Rogers. This guy is numbered to 10. Number 8 of 10. That is the certified out of Chronicles. Masahiro Tanaka, number to 2018. Man, that looks exactly like the regular ones. Don't oh no, it's got the weird flare here. Yeah, it's Man, that'd be hard to catch though if you weren't if you were going quick, I think. Trevor Story Fire number two two ninety nine. I like the fire inserts or the but the base cards weren't very good. They're mostly sticker autos too. A blue bordered Chrome card from Gypsy Queen this year. That's Paul Goldschmidt. And it is numbered 80 of 150. Kevin Kramer. Number to 99. <coughs> Jose Ramirez. Number to 299. That's a refractor of the Optic Contenders. And these would have come out of the Chronicles. Yeah, those were in Chronicles. Brian Dozier Mini out of Heritage, numbered to 100. 18 of 100. Well. You got Mitch Keller, the blue bordered Bowman. And this guy is number two. It's in the front. Oh, there it was. Four ninety nine. A couple Sandy Alcantaras. That guy's numbered to fifty. And the blue border throwback, the nineties throwback from archives. And that guy is numbered 7 of 25. Two low-numbered Alcantaras. You got Nick Madrigal, numbered to 125. And a Tuki Toussaint. The purple bordered ones are going to be numbered to 299.
Let's see. Just a few more numbered cards, and then we'll get into the relics. Scott Kazmer and the Cam Bed Rosen, Andrelton Simmons, all are going to be numbered to 2017. Taylor Widener, number to 250. Cameron Maben, that's a beautiful card out of Heritage. Numbered to 999. Javi Baez Prism card. Numbered to 299. I love these. The circles. Yeah, I forget what that one's called. Oh, it's Max Muncy, number to 199. And the purple bordered Carl Yastrzemski, 90s throwback card out of archives. I think this was, yeah, 175, 20 of 175. It's a beautiful card. Love this Mike Trout, Crusades, number to 199. The Crusade cards in general are beautiful cards, and then you... Make it extra shiny, and that is just an awesome card. How about the Ronald Acuna Jr.? It's like the cracked ice kind of thing going on there. This guy is going to be numbered to 35. That is a sick, sick card. The Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie. That's the uh, with the San Antonio Missions, a minor league card, numbered to 50. How about an Eloy rated rookie with the blue border? Numbered to 75. 16 of 99 on the Pete Alonzo rookie. The red border on the Chronicles. Headline grabbing start. And, oh, this was a great card. Numbered to 99, 97 of 99, the King Griffey Jr. Leather and Lumber. And that'll do it for the numbered cards. Let's get into some relics. Let's see what we got. How about a Fran Mill Reyes autographed relic? Beautifully centered pinstripe. This is for a museum collection. And the autograph, the sticker auto. Numbered to 299. The Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Jumbo Patch out of Chronicles. Not numbered. This card is absolutely ridiculous. So you're going to have Trey Turner. Juan Soto. Max Scherzer. And Steven Strasberg, the quad relic out of Museum Collection. And that guy is numbered to 75. Absolutely ridiculous card. How about a Freddie Freeman? The black relic. A little bit of smuts on the top loader there. Not numbered. Justin Upton. You got Aaron Nola. Beautifully centered pinstripe on that one. Game used. The Jesse Winker. It's a sweet patch, but it's a Jesse Winker. Numbered 25. Also out of the museum collection. Camera doesn't like that one. Yes. Museum collection. Something about it. 
Jackie Bradley Jr. We got Hanley Ramirez. An exciting player to watch in his prime. Man, that is crazy thick. It's a monster card. Xander Bogarts. Oh, there's quite a few Red Sox. Yeah. Uh, that is a holiday. Chris Sale. You already had Jackie Bradley Jr. Yep. Hanley Ramirez as well. Brandon Crawford. All the holiday ones there. And then we got Jose Lynn. Adam Lynn, I'm sorry. Jose Lynn played for the Pirates in the 80s. Yeah. He was a, like a utility infielder. Yeah, he was second base. Mostly. Felix Hernandez, one of my all-time favorite pitchers. Dude had some sick stuff. Game worn jersey, club clubhouse collection out of Heritage. We got Carlos Martinez, Evan Longoria, number to one fifty. It's Aaron Nola and Jake Arietta. That's a really nice blue. And Wilson Contreras. All right. Before we get into the big time autographs, Luke, you want to tell us about your favorite card of the break? Yeah, I like uh, two of them, I guess, stand. I like this one right here. It might not be worth the most, but it's sick looking. I like to look at the card. It's kind of bubbly and textured. Yeah, that came out of the heritage. It's numbered uh, 569, number nine of 569. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. So. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. Oh, I got one left here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. So we did end up getting, you're still going to cash this in. Yeah. <laughs> we got one redemption over those 500 packs, 15 hours. One redemption card. It was a base card autograph of Stephen Tarpley. Yeah. That was a stadium club? Yep. Yeah. That sounds like a stadium club autograph. <laughs> <laughs> but the base cards are good. You can get good autographs there. But I have not much luck on that end. All right, and then the autographs. A handful of autographs here to show you, and that'll wrap us up just about two hours. Um, the 15-hour break was incredible. We hope to do uh, something like it in the future. Also planning an auction uh, coming up at some point uh, for me personally. Um, it's going to be awesome. I'll keep you updated on that. The Jake Cave autograph, number 299. And I thought he had a great auto. Yeah, it's a lot better than... The Josh Hader relic auto. Not a great autograph. That guy, not numbered... Bill James, you may not recognize the name or the face. He's considered the father of sabermetrics. Right? Is that, that fair to say? There's a, a few guys involved, obviously, but uh, Bill James, one of the forefathers of analytics. That is numbered 199 and a really good looking autograph. If you play fantasy sports of any kind, you can thank those guys, too. They had an impact on how people view stats in general. Freitas Nova. There's no way I pronounced his first name right. Not a great audio. A couple of scribbles. Kind of small. Who did he play for? The Astros. How about a Patrick Wisdom? 
He's got a very nice autograph. I think we got that out of a blaster box, actually. I'm pretty sure we did. Now that you mention it, that sounds right. The Gary Allen or Greg Allen? Yeah. I think Gary Allen was a country music singer from the 90s. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Ramon Laureano. Sticker Auto. That's a rookie card. Coynell Perez. Autographed relic card. I like his autograph. Out of Diamond Kings. Beautiful yeah. card. We just had a few packs of those, didn't we? Maybe four or five packs at the most. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot. Louis Arias. Really, really good autograph. Bowman yeah. Platinum. Cesar Hernandez. Out of Gypsy Queen. Scott Barlow. Absolute. Rowdy Talese, the red obsidian. Absolutely beautiful. There's always a Rowdy Talese. He's always. always. <laughs> number to 15, that guy is. Uh, number to 15? That's yeah, 5 of 15. Your Rowdy Talese. Chris Narvison. Rookie card on the 90s or the 2006 7 throwback. Cody Medeiros. First Bowman. Don't see a lot of first Bowman Chrome autos. I haven't anyway in my life. Anthony Siegler from the Bowman Platinum. Kevin Kramer. For your Pirates, the Jarrell Cotton, 87 very, uh, throwback auto. A.J. Brown for your Titans. That came out of a silver pack. Yeah, Panini National Pack. Jacob Mix. There you go. Yeah, he just got, he just got arrested for trying to drunkenly climb in through somebody's <laughs> doggy door, but he got tased. <laughs> but he thought it was his house, but then they asked him, you know, like, does your house have a doggy door? And he's like, no. But, you yeah, know. Jacob Nix, everybody. Da Dawel Lugo. Horrible autograph. Runs off the side of the thing. Yeah, that was it's, a... That's a bad job, Dawel. Dawel Lugo. Get your autograph game in order. Thomas Pannone. And we got a couple that we saved for the end here for you. Before I show you those, I will thank you for hanging out. It's always a pleasure. I have a ton of fun doing these. Can't thank Luke enough. These are all Luke's cards. He'll be taking them home with him uh, when he leaves. I don't get to keep any of them. As I drop a couple on the floor. All right. Here's a couple big ones. Did you consider these the two biggest hits? Yeah, pretty much. Kind I'd of. Say. And that Nationals card, that quad relic. Yeah. That's ridiculous. How about an Eloy Jimenez? Absolutely beautiful. Archives, what's that say? Fan favorite. Love that card. And this guy is not numbered. Yeah, I think I have a base autograph. Obviously, an incredibly. Talented young player. Take a look at his auto there for you. And the last card of the night. An absolutely beautiful Pete Alonzo autograph. And that guy is numbered 43 of 50. And all night it has fought me on these museum collection cards. So I apologize. It's not coming into. There it is. Not too bad. That's either. a little better. The Pete Alonzo Museum Collection number to 50. Good looking autograph. Beautiful card. All right. 
15 hours worth of goodies, 500 packs worth of fun. I had a good time uh, going over it. Any final thoughts on the Mega Break this year, Luke? That was fun. Had a good time. I mean, it it was it was rough. <laughs> 15 hours, man. That was crazy. It was. You gotta start. I gotta train harder next time. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Preston underscore Sports over on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. I'm gonna keep you updated on that auction over there as well. So please do uh, check me out over there. Um, there you go. Thanks for hanging out. You guys are great. I am Preston. He is Luke. Be good. Have fun. And I'll see you next time.